Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sani Beauty here and I'm back with another video. So today guys, I'm gonna be installing a unit from You Nice Hair. I've worked with this brand a few times and I love, love, love their wigs. I love their bundles. Um, so I'm gonna actually be reviewing this 13 by four lace frontal wig. It's a 20 inch Brazilian wig and it's 180 density. They sent this unit already pre-plucked and bleached, but I went ahead and plucked and bleached it anyway. And there's also baby hairs that come on it. So that's a plus, but this is one of those wigs where everything's done for you. You don't really have to do much. So yeah, if you're a beginner, definitely this is something I'd go with. They also sent this wig cap and also an adjustable strap that you can install. I'm using the black cap because since the hair stores are closed, I couldn't get a nude cap or anything. So I'm just cleaning off my hairline with some alcohol and a cotton pad before I install. This step is key because you don't want any makeup or residue or oil on your skin before applying your lace wig. And if you guys see me being all giddy throughout the videos because during filming, my boyfriend surprised me with a new iPhone. Woo! So I'm excited, so yeah. And I wanted to leave this part in because I'm just so grateful for it, so. So right now I'm just gonna be cutting off the back part of the lace, like you know that neat part? I don't use that part ever, so I'm just cutting that off. And I'm putting on the wig now. Honestly, it's a little bit small. I got a size small because my head is small. I usually get my wigs in a small, but for some reason this one was tight. And I also tinted the lace with this Dush Creations uh, lace tint. This is why my hair looks so natural. Like the lace looks so natural, looks like my skin tone. So I would highly, highly, highly suggest you guys get some lace tint from her. So right now I'm just making some slits in the lace. This install, I literally copied how Pisces Finest installs her hair. I don't really, I'm not like a professional with installing lace wigs. So I do rely on YouTube like everybody else. I also do watch Erica J and I don't know, my, my installs are never looking like hers, you know, but I find that Pisces Finest are a little bit easier for me so I'm just I just follow her method so right now I'm applying some bold hold active I love bold hold active one layer literally does me so good so I'm just going in with one layer of this and I'm a little bit generous with it because I'm just gonna smooth it out and also because like I said I only use one layer now you can go in with multiple layers like I see people doing two three even four um, but I'm just going in with one I do take my wigs off on a weekly basis because I want to wash my hair um, so yeah that's pretty much why I only do one and I'm gonna blow dry it on a cool setting until it gets clear now I'm not gonna lie to you sometimes when I blow dry the lace glue and obviously maybe because some parts I I apply it too thick it doesn't fully turn clear so I'm just gonna stick down the lace anyways and those little parts that have too much glue I'm just gonna smooth that out with my finger and guys honestly it's perfectly fine I know people say don't use your fingers on it da, da, da. but nothing happened to me to be honest So yeah, I'm just gonna go back in with a blow dryer and blow dry that on a cool setting. And guys, this was secure, like real secure. So I then moved on to the next side, same thing. And I also wanna mention, I try not to get too close to my hairline because I don't want my edges ripping out, but sometimes it's it's kind of impossible almost unless i'm bringing the wig down to my like eyebrow which i'm not going to there are a few baby hairs i got some glue on it i'm not upset with that though because i literally don't rip my wigs off my wigs come off very properly and very safely so my edges are always saved Now guys, look at that hairline, so natural looking, oh my gosh. So this is another thing that I saw from Pisces Finest. I literally would have never thought to try this. I'm pretty sure other people have done it, but this is that's who I saw it from. And she applies um, got to be free spray after she applies her lace glue. So I was kind of scared to do this because I thought that the lace was gonna lift, but I said, hey, wh whatever, I'll just try it and see what happens. And I I'm just blow drying this right away so it doesn't just sit on the hair. And guys, 
I really like this method because it was like super, super, super secure. I think though, if you were to leave it on and not blow dry it right away, it would lift. But because I blow dried it instantly, it, it did not lift. It was actually like stuck, like stuck, stuck. <laughs> So I'm just putting my hair in a ponytail. I'm gonna put my hair tie on so that my lace is a little bit more melted. And I'm also gonna use this time to flat iron out this unit because I did wash it before installing it. And yeah, so once I come back, I'm gonna have nice sleek straight hair, guys. All right, so I'm back. So I'm just gonna take off my head tie and guys, it, my hair was melted like trust me look at that <laughs> um yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and cut the lace off and i'm using a zigzag motion with the scissors just so that it gives the hairline a more natural effect All right, so now that I'm done cutting off the lace, I'm just parting my hair down the center. And look at the color of the lace, guys. Like, I owe this all to the Stush Creations lace tint. I highly suggest you guys get some because this is looking super, super natural. And I'm just going in with my hot comb, making sure that everything is laid and everything is nice and flat. And I'm just loving the result so far. I love the color of the lace. I love how full this hair is. Like, look at my hairline, guys. Like, so perfect. And this is before baby hairs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out a few hairs from the front. Yeah, I'm just pulling out just some very thin baby hairs. I find this looks more natural. And to slick down my baby hairs, I like to use the Got To Be Gel. This is the black bottle, not the yellow one. And I know that you can use mousse, but I love the effect that this gives. I love using the black Got To Be Glued Gel. So guys, this is pretty much how I styled the hair. I love the effect, I love how it came out. I'm just using some mousse to, you know, slick down the flyaways. But this hair is so full, it's so sleek, it's so straight. Um, I love it, I am in. I was like in love and feeling myself when I was finished. I'm just gonna show you guys the length of the hair on me. I'm like about 5'7", and this was like falling probably like mid-waist or like to my back. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it, bye guys.